Social anxiety is absolutely brutal to live with, but can this unconventional book help you out with your social anxiety? Stay tuned as we discuss. is up everybody this is chris from the rewired soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution and today's problem is social anxiety and i haven't done a book review in a really really long time i've been kind of just not even really slacking i've just been like picking up books and going through them and not finishing them all the way because they get kind of uh and all this other stuff but i'm back and i'm going to be doing some book reviews like the 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 book reading is reignited in me so like this book is going to surprise you but first let me preface this by talking about my history with social anxiety like so many people who meet me like they're so shocked when I tell them that I used to have social anxiety like I did it was brutal my brain was constantly going a million miles a minute I was so concerned about what I was doing what I was saying what I was thinking what you were looking at and all these other things I was trying to read you and I didn't know if I was making you uncomfortable and all sorts of stuff like uh, I, I was always worried about saying something that might offend or make somebody uncomfortable like I was just extremely socially awkward and like it it made me fumble over my words even more, which made it even more awkward. And it was just terrible. It was so terrible. And like, I just couldn't talk to people unless there was somebody like that I really, really knew. And if you're socially anxious, you know exactly what I mean. So. What I try to do when I read books, no matter what book it is, like I try to see what we can learn from it. And most of the books I do read are mental health books. And this book has actually been on my list for a while, but I haven't picked it up because it's not really a mental health book. But I'm like, you know, I bet this book might be able to help people who are socially anxious. And it's interesting because I don't think a lot of people with social anxiety would actually pick up this book. If they saw it in a bookstore or on Audible or Amazon or Kindle or whatever it is, like they might not pick it up, but it's actually really good. So I'll be honest with you, I'm only three chapters in, I'm like, yo, everybody who subscribes to my channel who has social anxiety needs to read this book. Now you're asking me, Chris, what book are you talking about? What book is it? Well, it is called What Everybody Is Saying by Joe Navarro, all right? So uh, I listen to all my books on Audible. Um, I just listen while I'm driving to work or if I'm doing some like tedious tasks at work, I just have an audio book playing. And like, so just to preface this book, so this guy, Joe Navarro, he is an ex-FBI agent and he was one of the best. And the reason why he was one of the best is because he's amazing at reading body language. So this book actually blends in neuroscience with the science of body language. So they, uh, that's something that really sold me on this book. Those of you who have been around for a while, I'm really into neuroscience. Like understanding how the brain works really helps with understanding how we behave and how we think and the way we do things and our mental health and all that kind of stuff. So here's the thing, when it comes to social anxiety, a lot of it is this concern that we don't know what people are thinking, what's going through their mind. But think about it for a second. If we could better understand a person's body language and what certain things meant, then we could know if, if this person's enjoying the conversation, if they're trying to get out of this conversation, if they're uncomfortable, if they're nervous, like we can read all these different things and that's what's absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to give uh, a few little things that's in this book so far, but I'm only about three chapters in and uh, I'm, I'm hustling through it because I actually joined this like book club with some buddies who I play Fortnite with. And like, I, I was super excited uh, when they told me they were reading this book. I'm like, yo, I need to get this book. I wanna join your book club because not many of my friends read. You know what I mean? So I'm glad that I get to like talk and discuss this stuff with other people besides you. I love you, but I need like some more human interaction. So anyways, the book kind of starts off with, and it goes through kind of like a curriculum of what this book's gonna be about. But throughout it, like Joe Navarro, he kind of gives some examples of these uh, different cases he worked and things that he learned and all sorts of stuff and kind of like his childhood and why he became uh, fascinated with understanding body language because he actually came from another country and didn't speak English. So he had to learn how to read body language to know if people liked him or didn't like him. And this kind of helped him out before he learned English. So. Then like one of the first chapters, I think it's chapter two, they start to talk about the limbic system and the prefrontal cortex and things like that. So the limbic system, that is your most primitive part of the brain. It is the strongest part of the brain. It is your emotional part of the brain, right? So like he talks about how you can't always believe what's coming out of somebody's mouths or like their facial expressions because like they're actually not a good indicator. You have to look at other cues on their body, which I'll talk about in a second. And like, 
for me personally, like this book is kind of sold to people like, you know, when you're talking to your boss, or you're talking to a customer, or you're talking to a client, or you're talking to a loved one, or you're talking to your kids. But like for me, I'm like, man, this could really help with social anxiety, you know what I mean? So understanding these things. So. One of the great things, and I really wanna make some dedicated videos to this, is one of the first things it does, it talks about pacifying behavior, okay? These are things that we do unconsciously that calm us down, okay? So some people might rub the skin right below their neck, or they might rub their neck like this, because these are actually filled with a lot of nerves, and it releases calming neurotransmitters in your body, so it actually calms you down. It soothes you, okay? So I wanna make some more videos on that, because if you're somebody who just gets anxious or stressed, there's some points on your body that you can touch that actually calm you down so you can do it more deliberately. So this next chapter I'm on, he, he talks in an earlier chapter about like, what do you think the most telling part of the body is? And a lot of people would say face and things like that. But if that was the truth, then why would poker face even be a thing? So the feet are actually the best indicator for this. And this is something I heard a very long time ago and it's something that I noticed. I even noticed myself doing it. So. Just some quick examples. If somebody has their feet turned towards the door or towards an exit, this means that they're either A, uncomfortable, or they're in a hurry or they wanna leave, okay? Because that's just our natural fight or flight instincts, okay? So like, when, when we get in these situations, like our feet, they're prepared to do something, okay? And then it also talks about how having a wider stance is more confrontational. So he discusses about how to kind of diffuse a situation to make sure that your legs are together. Because because even on an unconscious level, if you if you have a wider stance and you're like kind of a, in a heated argument with somebody, they're getting more prepared to attack back, right? Even if it's verbally, okay? So it also talks about other things about how when you cross your legs, you feel really comfortable. And the reason this is is, is because the brain is not preparing you to leave. So when you cross your legs, you're actually off balance. So if somebody's crossing their legs near you, whether it's you know one leg over the other and in their lap, or if it's just crossing their ankles, okay? Because their center of gravity changes. So this means they're very comfortable, so their brain's not telling them, hey, you might need to get out of this situation. So like, I find this very, very useful when like having conversations with other people, noticing what their hands are doing, their arms are doing. Like, there's one part where it talks about if somebody's cupping their elbow, this is is also something that means that they're uncomfortable. And if they move their hand, this means that they're starting to relax. So there's a lot of great tips in here and I really hope that some of you read it. Like, the more you understand about the brain and what we do, the more you will improve your mental health. One of the reasons my mental health is so much better these days is because I educate myself about this. I'm gonna link a video up in the info card about something called the brain mechanic. Okay, the more you understand about your brain, the better you'll be able to handle a variety of diff different situations, whether it's anxiety, depression, and things like that. But I really like this book because it's how to tell if other people are uncomfortable or confrontational and all that kind of good stuff. So if you want to join me on this journey and read this book, I'm going to put a link down in the description below. That's an affiliate link. So if you're interested in it, go ahead and buy it from Amazon. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps support the channel. But I would love for you to read this book, check it out, and tell me your thoughts on it. And then maybe I'll do a full book review after I'm done with it. All right. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Go ahead and click that little round subscribe button. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. I love you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. All right. If you want to check out some more content on the channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Learn more about your brain today, and I'll see you next time.